Hey, uh, Jonathan Singh had did a thread on leaving things behind. And why did he start that thread? What inspired him? Because he left a UV light behind he bought from us. He bought our TMF UV light, and it is kind of small. If you're not wearing your little, you know, holder on, you know, on the side or something like that, it's still easy to leave behind when you're looking at urine stains and things of that nature. So uh, we had the same problem with our employees. So I kind of want to show you the solution that we came up with, and I'm going to help everybody else out in return. And uh, so if you kind of pay attention to this, you're going to notice what we did is we took the regular string off of it, and we went ahead and put our TMF lanyard on it. And you're saying, well, what does that do for me? Well, it doesn't do a whole lot, but what we did is we went ahead, took a magic marker, and wrote dry and clean on it. So I wrote dry and clean on there, and then we went ahead and wrote the phone number on the other side. Plus, being since it's long and red, it's really uh, easier to spot if you got it sitting around. If it's black and it's by itself, it just kind of blends in with everything. And my employees left it behind. We have the best light in the industry, especially the best price point. What is it, like 160 bucks, 170 bucks, something like that. Other lights sell for like 300 bucks, but it's still a lot of money to leave behind when you don't have to. So it's a really good idea to have these on there. So how am I helping cleaners to do it? Well, what I've done is now is I'm having the guys put them inside the boxes with it. Like here's one somebody ordered it. Looks like it says here, uh, Daisy Fresh, Jared, Davin Ryder. Can you see that uh, little small print right there, Matt, that last name? Uh, David Ryder. Yeah, David Ryder. So, okay, that's what I was thinking. Exactly. So, anyway, they're getting the first lanyard. Now, you're going to have to put the lanyard on yourself, okay? I'm not going to put them on for you or nothing like that. But I do have Brian back, and I'll show you the stock room here. I've got Brian back here, and he's putting them on inside of the boxes and stuff for people. Plus, you know, I'd like to show them the power of that light. Hey, Matt, will you hand me that light real quick, please? So we got Brian back here, you can see. Take a look in here, in the little small office that we're making in here. I'll take that, thanks, sir. You notice he's sitting in here and he's putting them inside the lanyards right along with it. So you guys can just throw it in there. Can you show them the old lanyard that comes with it automatically? And it's just a little hole there, just show them how it goes on. If you'll show them, Brian, appreciate it. I don't have a little hole, just like a key ring here. Right, just a little key ring hole right there. So it's right on your lanyard, just kind of stretch it, put it right over there, take your old one off, or you can leave it on there. It's totally up to you. So what we're doing is we're loading them into all the boxes so they'll be ready to go in there. If you have your own lanyards, hey, more power to you. Kind of want to show you how strong this light is, too. Take a look at this. Can you see that over there? Okay, and if you look up here in the air, we've got all, oh, we've got all these fluorescent lights going on, right? They come back down my hand here, you can kind of see it. So here we are in a bright fluorescent light building, yet you can see this, how powerful this light is. And it's just right for detecting urine. And I feel like it's the absolute best light in the industry. And you'll make all your money back in one day for what they sell for. You just sell one good urine job. Whether stage one, stage two, or stage three, three, however you offer your urine jobs, we offer it in three different stages. You sell one um, third stage or one two stage, you'll probably pay for your light in your first instance. So you want to hold on to this light. This is a really cool way. Put it in your pocket. Still see it. You can wrap it around your wrist if you need to, but the main thing is you've got your name and number on there, and more than likely people will call you back. But I also mentioned in that thread there, I actually had a client, I went back to a house a year later, and my air mover was still there, and it had my name and phone number on it. And I said, oh, and she said, oh, you know, I meant to call you. Uh, I was thinking inside of my head, that was a whole year and she didn't call me. So they don't always call you, but it really does help. And the main thing is you're going to know since it's bright red, if you do set it down somewhere and you're walking through the house, because I usually like to walk through the house when I'm done to see if I left anything behind, just to double check, you're going to see that long landing. And the majority of people are going to call you back. You get people calls back all the time, and my technicians leave stuff behind. But make it simple for them. Dumb it down as much as possible. Put your company name in there. Put your company phone number on there. It's really difficult to put it on light itself. Don't take off the Danger UV. This is an extremely powerful light. It tells you don't put it in your eyes. You definitely don't want to put this stuff in your eyes. It's very dangerous. But you can. Not only can you make money with it, but you can also check your money to make sure your money is actually legit. Can you see that stripe in there? Yep, yep, yep. So uh, if somebody's folding out a whole bunch of $100 bills and you want to double check them, you can check with your UV light. So make money, check money, we're going to help you hold on to your money. I'm Rob Allen with Truck Mount Forums. Have yourself a great day.